Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this Thanksgiving glam makeup tutorial for you guys. Sorry if I sound a little nasally. I'm battling a cold right now. I'm trying to beat it. But um, yeah, I wanted to get a makeup tutorial up for you guys. I told you I'd have one in the description of my last video, which was just a mini haul. And I came up with this look, and I had, I don't know which one I'm going to upload first. I have like a blue makeup tutorial, so if that's already yet, it'll be linked down below. But if not, then that's the next one coming, like a get ready with me for work for my other job. So this, I work at Ollie's, and then I have the second job, serving. So, yeah, I'll have that video up very soon. And, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling because my throat is starting to hurt now. <laughs> and if you guys are interested in seeing how to achieve this fall glam, then please keep watching. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is conceal under my brows. And I'm using the NYX First Base Primer in Skin Tone, as usual. So after concealing under my brows, I'm just going to apply the base all over my eyes, blend it out so my shadows don't look patchy. Same old, same old. And then I'm going to be using the It's My Ray Ray palette. I don't have it in front of me, so I'll have the names on the screen. I'm first taking this light brown shade, and I'm just going to start blending it in my crease and packing it on very lightly. And then building that up. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with a darker brown shade, which is like a medium tone brown, very warm. And I'm going to start building that up into my crease as well. And then I'm going to blend it out, um, well, the edges at least, with the fluffy blending brush. And then I'm just going to show you guys how I would blend out my eye on clients. I usually hold up the brow because I like to conceal under the brow first. It just makes it so much easier to fill in the brow. I've been loving it. Only if I have a good brow shape at the time, if my brows aren't crazy grown out or uh, my client's brows are, then I'll just blend it out and then fill in the brows after. So yeah, I went in with that dark contour shade and then built it up, blended it out, and now I'm going to cut my lid for the cut crease and I'm going to do the next concealer. And then after cutting that out, as much as I like can without going too far up into my crease I'm going to just simply look up to make sure it's high enough because I have hooded eyes once I see that it is I'm just gonna blend it out so the shadow can adhere to the concealer smoothly without being like chunky or not looking good and this is just a uh, nudist from the palette I believe it's called just a simple matte off white and then I'm going to use a thin brush to create a wig I'm using gel liner and then I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush to just line my lash line and connect to the wig and sorry if I sound like crap I am sick if you can't tell <laughs> And I already primed my face. I used the Wet n Wild Dewy Face Primer and it is bomb. I love it. Now I'm just going to contour. I'm creep contouring, obviously, using the LA Girl Concealer. It's very dark and my foundation shade that I got is kind of dark. So to make it work, I have to do my cream contour under my foundation. So I'm just going to blend that out. As you guys can see with the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I love stipple brushes, guys. I'm taking the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Absolutely love this foundation. As you can see, it is a little too warm for me, but I can tweak it and make it my shade with concealer and everything. And once it settles into my skin, it looks good. And this is the LA Girl Concealer in Almond. And I'm just, you know, highlighting the normal places. Then I'm going to blend that all out with my Beauty Blender, push in the foundation to make sure everything looks seamless. And then I'm setting my eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder. Flawless. And then I'm going to bake. And then I'm going to go in and contour just so my contour looks super uh, sharp and my face looks, you know, snatched. <laughs> and I'm just contouring uh, and setting everywhere we cream contoured. Then I'm just going to highlight using Radiant from the same palette. and oh, It's so beautiful. I love this highlighter. Gotta hit the nose too, and the lips. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a little glitter. This is the Stilla Glittery Glow. I don't remember the name, I'll have it in the description box. And then after adding that little pop of glitter, I'm gonna go in with Sunset, which is a red shade from the palette, and just apply that on my lower lash line. Alright guys, so this is the final look. It's gonna wrap up this tutorial. I forgot to cut the camera back on for my lips because I'm low on storage, so I was trying to save um space so i can edit this video and upload it in like hd still so i forgot to cut it back on but this is the milani uh amore shine liquid lip in the shade seduction so i'll have it linked down below for you guys i also mentioned it in my haul my in my last video which was a haul so i mentioned it and it's really pretty i like it i feel like it goes really nicely with this cut crease and the lower lash line color the pop of color and 
I feel like it just ties it all together. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.